I have always maintained on this platform that in politics nothing happens out of mere coincidence. Everything in politics is normally well planned, well scripted, and executed to achieve specific political objectives. There are no coincidences in politics. Over the weekend, the World Rally Championship, Safari Rally, ended in Naivasha. But one thing was clear. William Ruto and his brigades missed the whole event. President Ru Kenyatta flagged the event off and even closed it. Raila Odinga was in Naivasha and you could see him with the president. Kalozo Musioka was in Naivasha. Musali Mdavadi was in Mombasa. Several other leaders were in Mombasa. But the Tangatanga -tanga brigades were missing in action. Why were they missing in action? And just like I keep on saying, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. This same, same group of people, the Tangatanga -tanga brigades, we've always seen them board planes to go and watch World Cup outside this country. But you are here in this country for the safari rally, which was making a comeback to the country after 19 years. The entire country was actually excited. And then Vasha, Vasha was actually trending. They opted not to attend this event. There is something they wanted to pass to Kenyans. And that's what I want to tell you guys here. Because this channel, what I do on this channel is to reveal to you guys some of these secrets which you are not able to see with your naked eyes. I can use my inner eyes to reveal to you these things. Yesterday, the president, while the president was awarding trophies to the winners, while the president was awarding trophies to the winners, his deputy, William Samai Ruto, was also busy receiving some maize from some woman somewhere in Ukambani. Remember, when Jubilee took over government in 2013, one of the promises President Ruru Kenyatta made was that he was going to return Safari Rally into the country. So ideally, this ought to have been a very big event for William Ruto and for everybody who was part of Jubilee. But he decided not to attend. From this photo alone, a message is being sent here. And this is probably why he advised these people not to attend this event. There's a clear distinction from this photo of President Ruru Kenyatta awarding the trophy and also from this photo of Ruto receiving the maze. So he's actually drawing a line that he's not going to attend that because that event is an elitist event. He's not attending that event because Jubilee promised it, but it's being delivered when they've parted ways. So what message was the deputy president trying to send to the president? What message? Because let's face it, William Ruto is known to be someone who likes PR. The other thing we know is that Denis Itumbi, who is the hustler spokesperson, is also known to share a lot of positive stories about this country. So the safari rally was a positive story. But Denis Itumbi said nothing about it. If you go through his Facebook page, there is nothing about it. I've gone through Millicent Omanga, because also Millicent Omanga is always excited about such kind of things. Again, nothing from Millicent Omanga. Ruto's son, Nick, was in Ivasha, of course, as a young person. Young people were in Ivasha, enjoying. Most of them were even there just for their, <laughs> for, to sin. But the majority of them went there because of the way it was publicized. There was heavy traffic. In fact, there were a certain group of people who wanted to make their way to Naivasha. Because of the traffic, they could not. So they just decided to party around the, along the roadside. But what message was the deputy president trying to send? 
four or five reasons. Number one, William Ruto has decided that his campaign is going to be about the elites and ordinary, the haves and the haves not, the rich and the poor. I don't know whether Safari Rally, watching Safari Rally, qualifies one to be an elite or ordinary, whether it qualifies one to be rich or poor. But the truth of the matter is that the way people were arriving at that Safari Rally event was kind of elitist. And there was jokes all over. I saw uh, uh, <laughs> a video of uh, these old Toyota Corollas. <laughs> I see them a lot in the Nandi Hills here. This uh, yeah, Kubeba Maka Nini Nini. That those were now team from Kisi. And the Luos came in style. They came with their Audis. Then the Subaru guys were never left behind. For them, they were saying they were going there as essential service providers. So, you leave that for what were Makex. But the thing is, it was kind of elitist. And the deputy president doesn't want to be seen to be attending elitist event. And that's why he opted to go to that event. And when the president was uh, giving awards, he opted to also receive <laughs> maize. Because let's face it, there is no way a poor person can get closer to the deputy president. Don't be cheated. William Ruto is the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. He doesn't manage his own security. His security is managed. In fact, even his close relatives find it very difficult to meet him unless he's the one who is looking for them. That's how security of VIPs are normally managed. Once they are sworn in, their security is taken over. So there is no way a woman who was just selling maize somewhere would just access the, the, the president, I mean the deputy president. It can't. The truth of the matter is that the deputy president wanted to pass a message that for him, he's a president of the poor, of the downtrodden. While Uhuru was representing the elite, the elite, the event in Naivasha, according to William Ruto, was an elitist event. Number two, I think the deputy president is also sending a message that it, it doesn't have any interest in uh, some of these things happening in Kenya. Otherwise, if he had interest, he would have been here. Let's face it, the safari rally is a big event internationally. Millions and millions of Kenyans, millions of people across the world, safari, uh, safari rally, I mean, world rally lovers, watched this event. In fact, if you read the comments by the rally drivers after this event, most of them are promising to come back because of the way the terrain, the, the environment, the lovely Kenya. Yeah, but the deputy president, after 19 years, is missing something which which came back into the country after 19 years. Even if he didn't want to share a podium, he didn't want to share a platform with the president, ideally he ought to have even gone there as an ordinary Kenyan just to witness this event. He would have checked the president diary, yeah, then make arrangement to arrive there when the president is not there. But now we are the deputy president saying, no, I'm not. I, I read somewhere, some Tanga Tanga guys were asking, what are some of the economic benefits of rally? You see, you can't compare this rally to even the events which the deputy president attended in Machakos. Those events could not wait, could wait. But the rally coming after 19 years, so many things, so many benefits. Ask the people who are, who are owning businesses in Naivasha, even in Nairobi, the hotels industry at this particular hour. The, so many people, so many benefits, direct and indirect benefit. But the deputy president is telling Kenyans no interest in that. Number three, we can also conclude that William Ruto has specific target of people he hopes to vote for him. And these people are the poor. I don't know why he assumes that only poor people do not attend the Naivasha event. I don't understand that. Because let's face it, the Subaru guys in this country the people who are dis displaying their Audi. The Toyota guys who are celebrating their victory. Those 
are middle class. Majority of people who are in Naivasha are actually middle class. But Ruto seems not to target them. Otherwise, the Ruta, you know, would have attended that event just to win the hearts of those people. And lastly, he was also telling Kenyans that he doesn't want anything to do with Jubilee. Safari rally, they promised Kenyans. This event was first held in 1953 in this country. It disappeared for 19 good years. It was making a comeback because they promised Kenyans they will return it. It was returning as one of the things they promised. He ought to have been there to witness one of the promises which Jubilee made being delivered. But he opted not to. Why do you think he opted? He didn't want anything to do with Jubilee. Because probably President Ruki Nyata would have reminded Kenyans that Safari Rally was one of the promises he made to this country and he's been able to deliver it in the second term because in the first term they could not think of such kind of things. I don't know what you think, but that's my take. Again, if you're watching this channel for the first time, hi, my boy. Are you back from school? He's still there. Tell him to wait for me. I'm coming. Sorry, my, my boy just disrupted me. Someone has just brought him from school. Now, I was saying, this was one of Jubilee promises. Ruto ought to have been here, but he opted not to attend. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts on this, but that's my take. And don't confuse me. What I do on this channel is to analyze things the way I've done. I know majority of you guys had not looked at it from that perspective, but I've decided to give it that political angle. And that political angle is actually the truth. Thank you guys and please may you have a good day. Godi.